It was our third and last afternoon safari in Tikala now and we had already seen so many tigers. Today our focus was on something unique. Our focus was on something we had never seen before. Remember how in earlier episodes we mentioned how the forest department had seen the grassland wallaby tigers with cubs. It was now time to find them. Hello wildlife lovers and welcome back to episode 8 of Tikala Wildlife series from Discover Wild Paws. We know this episode came after almost 3 weeks after episode 7. But remember, good things take time. Today, we were in no mood to run here and there. We were already very happy with our trip and wanted to try our luck using the ultimate weapon of patience. Great men have said, with patience comes great rewards. and today we were hungry for those great rewards canters came and canters left but we remained at the same spot a little further into the afternoon we started observing these two spotted deer these were very close to the area where the cubs were seen our best chance was to keep an eye on their activities and then on the main road were these two male antlers walking peacefully when suddenly they heard a loud samber deer alarm call the vibe of the jungle quickly changed to panic and these two started taking cautious steps into the jungle the alarm call was from this samber deer whom we found a few hundred meters away what did he see that he gave such a loud call he was alert but hungry too so he kept grazing while keeping his ears wide open for any movement around a deer this size is no match for a grown up tiger and if ambushed properly the tiger will bring him down very quickly Look at his behavior. Does this look normal to you? He definitely has seen or smelled something fishy around and that's why wants to take no risks. Samber deer call is the most reliable call in the wild. They will almost only give out alarm calls when they actually see a tiger. His best chance of survival is to move away to a different part of the jungle and so he decided to move towards the road. Now notice his urge to cross, his panic mode. He is now scared of anything and everything that moves. He is basically running in all the directions. To add to his misery is the leftover fog from the morning which makes it difficult to see the tiger slowly all the jeeps got the news of the samber deer alarm call and one after the other they started gathering all the jeeps had one hope seeing the tigress with its cubs At any point of time there are about 30 safari jeeps in Dikala. The tourists you see in Dikala are hardcore wildlife lovers and it's always fun to catch up with them in the evening. Usually in the jungle when a lot of jeeps gather tigers avoid showing up. Our best chance to see the cubs was to move forward to a different side of the jungle. So we reversed our jeep and moved towards the sunny side of the forest. We waited there for a while when an elephant couple passed by our jeep. And just a few minutes later, we saw the grassland wallaby tigress again and this time she was not alone 
our guide told us that she is calling for her cubs to come out. The same cubs which were only seen by the forest departments patrolling elephants so far. And then they came out, one after the other. Seeing a safari jeep for the first time in their lives, they got scared and went back. But then their mother came to take them along. It was as if she told them not to be scared of these humans because her mother is the queen of this forest. Before we could absorb this unbelievable moment, all four of them disappeared into the bushes. And very soon, all the safari jeeps rushed towards us. Everyone anticipated that the tigress with cups will cross the main road right outside the forest rest house. So even we thought of waiting there for a while. But again, with this huge crowd of jeeps and passing by of truck, all of us needed strong luck for them to come out again. In a jungle full of tigers, why will a mother expose her cubs in front of so many? This sighting is from last winter, so per the latest news, these three cubs are healthy and grown up now. Very soon they will separate from their mother to write their destiny. It started getting dark and all the jeeps started leaving one by one, disappointed to not be able to see the cubs. But thankfully, we did. The next generation of Tikala. <laughs>